Hey everybody, welcome to episode number 18 of What's That Pepper series. Today I have a few very wicked looking pots to show you. These are Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion and Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion. These are just absolutely gorgeous pepper. Look at how crazy they look. Just looking at these, you can tell how hot they are. Very, very beautiful pods. Let's take a look inside these peppers and I will tell you more about it. Okay, here are these beautiful peppers. Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion and Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion. Very beautiful pods. They all have these little crazy looking tails. So we'll cut both of it open and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like inside and then we'll taste one of them. So let's try this one here for the red. Okay, here is the red ghost scorpion. Wow, look at the placenta. It runs all up and down the pepper. As soon as you open the pepper, you can smell the fume immediately. It smells very hot. It has a very sweet floral smell just like many of the other ghost pepper. Pretty decent smell. Um, it's very floral, so I'm not a big fan of floral peppers, but uh, this one is not that bad. The wall is very thin and got a ton of seeds there, so that's the red here. Let's take a look at the peach one. This is the peach ghost scorpion. Um, the placenta is, let me, let me give you a side by side view. It's not as large maybe because the pot is a little bit smaller but these come in many different shapes so it's not gonna always look the same. Let's have a smell at the peach one. The peach one smells a lot more like the other chinens like um, uh, the scorpion. It doesn't have so much of a floral smell, a little bit citrusy, I, I, I can sense that. Yeah, this, this is a much better, um, more pleasant aroma than the red one. Yep, definitely. The red has much more of the floral uh, scent, so I think I'm going to try the, the peach one because I, I prefer this aroma over that one. So let's cut a piece out. And uh, as always, I'm not an expert in testing heat, so I'm only going to try a little bit and give you my opinion. Uh, there's many other experts out there that can eat these whole pods. I, I would probably just pass out if I try that. Okay guys, peach ghost scorpion and the red ghost scorpion. Both uh, by Jay. Jay's red ghost scorpion, Jay's peach ghost scorpion. And from the name, you can pretty much guess what the varieties were crossed between. It's a cross between a Boot Jalokia and a Trinidad Scorpion. Now, the Trinidad Scorpion, uh, the original pod is around 1.2 million Scoville units. And uh, this cross here, uh, again, was created by Jay, a, uh, a farmer in West Pennsylvania. I couldn't find much more information about uh, this person besides Jay is his name and he is the inventor of these. And these are pretty much stable now I believe because back in 2003 they were on their F4 or F5 so uh, by now I'm sure these are very stable because uh, I've seen many many pictures and they look very much just like this. Um, some are larger some than others but uh, the, the, it's very wrinkly and it's contorted and sometimes it has crazy tails and as you can see so let me show you a comparison this is a normal just normal red and this is a J's so as you can see 
it has some characteristic of the original Bujilokia, but uh, it has that crazy looking tail. So um, when you see the boot shape, very wrinkly skin, sometimes it's, it's all crazy and weird, and then with a the tail, uh, that's very likely the, the Jay's scorpion. And here's another of the regular ones. So, a little bit different, but you can see the, the resemblance. Okay, so the red one, um, as my re I was doing research on the Scoville units for this, and some of the places posted that uh, the red one is around 800,000 Scoville units, and the peach one is actually higher, so 900,000 Scoville units. So, because I prefer the, f the, f the aroma of the peach one, I'm going to try it. So, here is the peach one. I'm chewing it a little more so the heat is just coming on. Initially, as soon as you chew it, you you don't taste much. And um, a few seconds later, there's a little bit of sweetness and then heat. This thing is a super hot, so um, it's very hot. Um, it actually tastes better than the, the regular boot jalokia. It's... Um, it doesn't have that uh, floral aroma just like the regular one and this one that I just smell. Yeah, very floral, has a sweet floral smell. And when I, when I say floral, it reminds me of like uh, some kind of flower scent or something like that. Not exactly, but that's what it is. And that taste could be a little different sometimes so I don't I don't I don't prefer that very much I like the um, as everybody know I like the scotch bonnet flavor and sweetness and all that stuff wow this thing is kicking right now it took a few minutes to to actually come on but yeah it's just attacking everywhere and I ate a very small piece it's eyes watering right now very very hot so whew. That is just the very tip of the pepper. If you eat towards the center, I don't know how hot that's gonna be. Wow, it's grabbing onto my throat, it's burning all over here. <clears throat> Whew. A hot, hot pepper. It's a pleasant um, taste, not very strong, not very sweet, just a very uh, I forgot my chain of thought. It's not as sweet as most of the other pods that I like, but uh, it has a decent flavor. A little bit, a little bit sweet, and uh, <clears throat> the heat is slow to build, and then a few minutes later, it starts just hitting everywhere. Okay, so uh, I almost forgot. The Peach Ghost Scorpions was sent to me from uh, Juanito's Peppers. So Juanito sells uh, uh, fresh pods there. So if you want these um, fresh pods, here's some more that he sent. Some more Peach Ghost Scorpion. And then uh, SB7J. These are beautiful varieties. I mean, some of the most beautiful pots that I've seen. The Scotch Brain also, that's from Juanitos. And then the red one here are from Jeb Hobbs. You can find Jeb on the G Plus community. A very, very nice guy. He's a great, great um, grower. He has a lot of good, nice varieties that he sent me. Here are like a few. Look at these Reapers. That's from Jeb right there. Crazy looking stingers. And um, uh, he also sent me um, Red Savinas. These are very, very good pepper. Some of the mystery um, 
Jay's Peach Goes Scorpion Cross with something else. <laughs> Very unique variety. So let me show you a comparison. Here's a Ghost Scorpion Peach, and this is the Peach Ghost Scorpion that is crossed with something else that's unknown. So Jeff is growing this, so you can go there on the G Plus community and ask Jeff about it. It's a very interesting variety. Look very, very cool. And uh, he has some of these Charleston Cayenne. Okay, so the heat is pretty much gone now. It took a while. It's very, very hot. So I don't, I haven't tried the red one yet, but uh, maybe I should. So the heat of the peach one's gone. So let's go ahead and try the uh, the red one. I'll cut a piece out of it. I hope this is not as hot because I don't think I can handle much more. Okay, so the I'll just have a small piece because I just ate the scorpion, the, the, the peach one, and it's, it's already burning me. So I'll just do another one so I can sort of give you uh, an opinion. It's, it's very floral. Yep, it's a very floral pepper, a little bit sweet, very flat flavor, a little bit bitter. I'm not really a big fan of this uh, red ghost scorpion. It doesn't have the flavor that I like. It's, it's floral, a little bit bitter, not very sweet. Yeah, so definitely peach is the way to go. <laughs> In my opinion, uh, at least. Um, anyway, they're beautiful pods, both of them, red and peach. But I prefer, personally, the peach ghost scorpion. Uh, and it's very, very hot. Oh, my God. It took a minute for the heat to hit. Uh. <coughs> wow, this thing is very hot. I just ate a very small piece. It just took a while, and then it just snuck up on me. My throat's on fire right now. Wow. I would say the uh, the red one is good for drying to make a powder or make a sauce with it. The peach one is a very good pepper. You can just eat it raw, put it in your food. I think it, it'll. I'll, I'll. I'm gonna try this on my barbecue chicken on the grill. Wow, this thing is really hot. <sighs> Alright guys, so do not try those two at the same time. This is very hot. My throat... <sighs> feel like there's a piece of charcoal stuck right there. Whew. <sighs> I'm sweating. Nose running, throat burning. I'm trying to wait for this to go away so I can conclude the video and give you an opinion. Wow, this thing is hot. So the red one is just straight burn, floral, aroma, very flat taste, not the flavor that I like. The peach one has a citrus tone, a little bit sweet, very level flavor, crazy heat just like the red one. But I think the red one is more in this case. Uh, it's starting to die down now. Wow, I'm just sweating, nose running, tearing up. Whew. Okay, so uh, Juanito's Peppers for Fresh Pods. That's where I got the peach one. Jeff Hobbs on the G Plus community. That's where I got the red one. They're both beautiful peppers. They're just 
would do so well in your garden. These things are very productive. All the goats to me are very productive. All the goats that have grown produce like crazy, especially the red one. You're going to have hundreds and hundreds of pots and they keep putting out flowers and these things can get very, very huge. So if you put them in a larger container, one tree is enough for you for one person for the entire season. So uh, excellent varieties, any type of goats, especially the scorpion by Jay. Peach ghost scorpions, red ghost scorpion. Uh, if you need seeds for this, uh, contact Juanitos Peppers or um, Jeb Hobbs. That's, I'm sure there's a bunch of other places that carry those as well. Go there, check it out. I highly recommend the peach one. Uh, okay, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.